This is the second part of our series of folding various angles with the rectangular paper. And here we will use a A4 size paper. Now A4 size paper is 30 cm by 21 cm. When we first fold the paper in half, so the rectangle formed is 10 and a half by 30 cm. And so the angle made by this diagonal is 19.5 or approximately 20 degrees, which is tan inverse of 10 and a half by 30. And you can see there that this is 20 degrees. Since this was a rectangle and part of a corner, the remaining will be 70. If we divide this in half, we get this angle of 10 degrees. The remaining angle will be 90 minus 20, which is 70. Now, if we were to fold 60 right here, we can fold this 10 over and so 70 minus 10 will be 60. Now we have folded the 70 in half and so the remaining angle is 35 degrees and the total here will be 35 plus 10, 45 if we have to look at it. This is a corner and this is 90 degrees and this will be 90 minus 35 which is 55 degrees and now if we open it up this whole angle is 55 times 2 which is 110 degrees and therefore the remaining angle is 70. So just with starting with 20 degrees we have folded so many angles. Now this is 90 and this is 90 minus 10 which is 80 degrees. This whole angle is 80 times 2, 160 and so the remaining is 20 which is 180 minus 160. This total is 80 plus 20 which is 100 degrees. Now we will fold this along the crease and we can see that this angle is also 90 and so this is also 80 degrees and the remaining is 100 degrees. So this is a corner which is 90 and so when we fold this over we have 100 degrees, 100 degrees and two corners which is 70 and 90 and you can see that if we add all that up four angles of a quadrilateral will make 360 degrees. So starting with 20 degrees we could fold so many different angles. If we had folded the paper in one third we would get another angle for instance 13 degrees in that case. So keep folding in different proportions and make your own protractor.